टू नेम्स ऑफ द सेम टॉपिक मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लाइंस और मैग्नेटिक लाइंस ऑफ फोर्स और मैग्नेटिक लाइंस ऑफ फोर्स wherever you get the word lines so that means we are talking about the that imaginary lines only okay so so many names are also sometimes only field lines are given so don't get confused whenever the word line is mentioned that means we are talking about this magnetic lines only okay now heading written yeah Yeah. So in last more point, I have given you that from the north pole always the speed lines are going outward, and for the south pole it is going towards the south. And the more point was there wherever the speed is stronger, so it will have more crowded field lines. That means if there is crowded lines are there, it shows the field is stronger here as compared to this kind of thing. If the field lines are far away from each other, that means the magnetic field is Weak, clear. Mm -hmm. Now write down the subheading under this magnetic field lines. Plotting of lines. Plotting of lines. Plotting of lines. Now here we can understand how these lines are made. So number one, there is two methods for plotting these lines. So one is the compass method. compass method my first write down what is compass method then i'll explain a plotting compass is a a plotting compass is a small magnet small magnet in a glass case a plotting compass is a small magnet in a glass case glass case with a with a with a non magnetic non magnetic walls with a non magnetic walls next bullet uh wait a second place a bar magnet on a sheet of paper place a bar magnet on a sheet of paper also place a compass place a compass at a point at a point say at a point say capital a say capital a as shown in figure as shown in figure near one pole near one pole of the magnet near one pole of the magnet change the bullet in figure in figure it is in figure it is n pole north pole in figure it is n pole north pole capital n pole mark the positions mark the positions of the poles mark the position of the poles small n comma small s n comma s it is like this see the screen marks the pole mark the pole n comma s of the compass of the compass by by pencil by pencil dots by pencil dots b comma a by pencil dots b comma a 
नेक्स्ट बुलेट मूव द कंपास मूव द कंपास सो दैट मूव द कंपास सो दैट पोल एस इज मूव द कंपास सो दैट पोल एस इज एग्जैक्टली पोल एस इज एग्जैक्टली ओवर कैपिटल बी एग्जैक्टली ओवर कैपिटल बी कॉमा मार्क द न्यू पोजिशन ऑफ स्मॉल एन मार्क द न्यू पोजिशन ऑफ स्मॉल एन बाय डॉट बाय डॉट सी बाय डॉट सी कंटिन्यू दिस प्रोसेस कंटिन्यू दिस प्रोसेस अंटिल अदर पोल कंटिन्यू दिस प्रोसेस अंटिल अदर पोल ऑफ द बार मैग्नेट अदर पोल ऑफ द बार मैग्नेट इज रीच्ड अदर पोल ऑफ द बार मैग्नेट इज रीच्ड Full stop. Other poles of the bar magnet is reached. Full stop. Join the dots. Join the dots to give. Join the dots to give a magnetic line of force. A magnetic line of force. मैग्नेटिक लाइन ऑफ फोर्स एंड शो इट्स डायरेक्शन एंड शो इट्स डायरेक्शन बाय पुटिंग एंड शो इट्स डायरेक्शन बाय पुटिंग एन एरो एन एरो ऑन इट बाय पुटिंग एन एरो ऑन इट स्टॉप Plot other lines. Plot other lines. Plot other lines by starting at, by starting at different points, different points, different points around the magnet, around the magnet. I'm sorry. Can you repeat that sentence? Plot other lines. Plot other lines by starting at by starting at different points by starting at different points around the magnet. Around the magnet. Around the magnet. Now see, I have sent the figure. You have to draw it. Then I explain it. So this is the method to draw the magnetic lines of force. So this is the first method. We have another method as well. So first draw the figure and explain it. It is.
done. Okay. Now here, what we have to do, we have to plot the line and this we are doing the practical method, how we can draw the magnetic field of line. So here, what we have to do, we have to take a compass and a bar magnet. Now, this is the bar magnet you can see in the screen. Now, what we have to do, we have to choose a random position near one of the pole. Like suppose here, I am taking the position A near the pole, north, near the north pole, I take one position A and in this A position, what I have done? I have placed the compass in this in this A. Now what I have to do? As soon as I put the compass, what I see in the compass, what do you have? We have a pointer which point towards the north. So what do we do? Suppose it is like this. It will point toward north. Okay, this will automatically become south and this will show north. This is the property of the compass that the pointer always point toward the north. So as when he, it points toward the north, so I mark another point and mark it as B. Clear? So this, mm -hmm. this wherever I got the point of the north, I mark it as B. Again in point B position such that this B becomes the south pole of the pointer. I again place the compass such that the end point of that pointer, south of that pointer, is in the dot position, what I have got earlier. So this is the B, which I marked now. In the B, I have to coincide the south pole. That means the end of the pointer. Again, the pointer will point something about here. So I have to mark it as C. Similarly, again in C, I have to place the pointers as it will point somewhere here. Again, I, I will mark it as D and so on. Understand what we are doing? Where we are keeping this compass? Yeah, you're messing with its um, directions of north by putting another magnet to attract it, right? Uh, sorry, can you please repeat? Uh, I was uh, asking um, if, okay, I was saying if you were just getting the magnet to mess up with the compass's direction. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's it? Yeah, see. Okay, just making it's sure. It's the method in which we have to draw the direction. We have to get the magnetic lines of pole. As I told you in the last class that it's the imaginary line, but there should be some rules now. How we can say that it is like the curved line? Last class, you have asked now why we can say it is in the curved line only, why it is not the straight line. Because we, from the experimental view, from the experimental point of view, so many experiments are done and we've got to understand that whenever there's a bar magnet and we do certain experiment to identify the lines of force, it goes in a curve way only. So for, for identifying, we have the two methods. First one is the compass method. Second one is the iron filling method. So that I'll tell you later. So here, what we have to do? We have to take a compass, put it near the bar magnet. It will point toward the north. Each of the compass will point always toward the north only. So when I put the compass here, it will show the direction. This, so wherever I got the direction, I will mark with the pencil that it is point B. Initially, I take the A. Then wherever it points, the north position, I will mark it as B. Now I have to keep the compass in this B position. Again, it will point somewhere in the north direction. I will mark it as C. Again in the C, I put the compass. Again, it will point to the north direction. I will mark it as D. Again, I put the compass in D position. Again, it will direct somewhere in the north position. I will mark it as E and so on. Finally, what I have to do, I have to join all the points A, B, C and D. So what I will get? I will get a curved line. Okay. If I join all this point A, B, C, D, so what we got to know, we got to know that it is in like this. So it is, it is not like that we only got the one line only. Suppose you change the position of compass. Suppose you, in the starting, you keep the compass here. Then again, you will get another, another position. So it will be second line like this. Similarly, the down position only. Also, you can put the compass here. You will get the magnetic line of force here. Understand? So by changing yeah. 
in a compass we can get the lines of force clear mm -hmm. now again i am sending you the picture you have to draw can you see the lines of force understand the method really yeah. ask for the method the main thing is you have to understand that how these lines are made how these are the curved line and you have to focus on the direction that will be more important for the examination point of view and and also for the mcq these names are important compass method and all name is important method really they ask mm -hmm. i'll just draw the Done. Okay. Now, after drawing this, now we have to take the combination of two bar magnets. Like suppose, I think I just give you the overview in the last class. Suppose we took the same same poles near to each other, then how it will react with each other? Suppose when we take opposite poles near to each other, how they interact with each other? this we have to draw they all repel sorry oh no i thought you were asking me um i said they'll repel yeah so basically we know that like charges attract unlike charges repel now how we can show this in the practical way or you can say in the diagram 
So this we have to understand with the magnetic line of force. Now most of the time they'll ask this question in the MCQs. MCQs also in the theory also. So this is very important. You can mark a star also. So write down. You can write very IMP whatever. You can just have to show that this is the important. Write down. You can write in the note point also. Make it a note. See whatever I'm giving the note. That is the most important thing. Okay, it's like a conclusion or it's a very important from the examination point of view. So even if you have less time, you just go through the notes. So write down the combined field due to the combined field due to neighboring magnets. Neighboring magnets can also be plotted by can also be plotted by. Um, not uh, can also be plotted in a following manner, right? In a following manner, in a following manner. First of in below figure, in below figure, in bracket small a, figure a, in below figure a, where two like poles, where two like poles are facing each other are facing each other the point x is the point x is a neutral point a neutral point underline neutral point point x is a neutral point first of at x and underline neutral point then write at x at x the field due to one magnet at x the field due to one magnet cancels cancels out cancels out due to the other cancels out due to the other now see the figure in the screen that you have to draw first figure this is the a what here it is here i have shown x x is the neutral point this middle one so what happened in x why it is a neutral point because the magnetic field due to this bar magnet cancels the effect of magnetic field due to this bar magnet because both we know that why they are rippling because they have the same intensity they are all the magnetic lines are going outward so there will be some point at which this the, the both the line of force cancels the effect of each other and this point is the neutral point here i am denoting it with x so this word neutral point is important Draw it. Okay, John. Ron? Now, yes. can you tell me, can you tell me how we can write it for when we have the uh, different poles facing each other? How can we define that thing? I'll try to explain it best I can. But when you put two north poles near each other, for example, Mm -hmm. You can, okay, so the rule is north, south, south to north, and the north, the lines mm -hmm. with the magnetic field, it goes in a circular motion, 
mm -hmm. from the from both sides. So when you put two together, there's gonna be a gap where it's neutral ground, where none of the poles have an effect because none of the lines or electromagnetic fields reach there. Mm, correct. Now see, when this, this is the case, when the opposite poles are facing each other. So now you know that the magnetic line of field comes outwards from the north pole. So see my direction, I have made the arrow outward of the north pole and inside, it, sorry, for the south pole, it is coming towards it. And so on, we can draw so many magnetic lines like this also. Okay. Reason is clear. Reason is only because these are the like this is, sorry, these are the unlike poles, and we know that from the now north pole, the lines of force are coming outwards, so it will come away from the north pole and goes towards the south pole. So the with the practically or in the figure way, I can draw it like this. And figure name for this, this will be the figure B. First draw it, then I dictate the figure name. Okay, John. Write down the figure name. Field lines. Field lines due to field lines due to neighboring magnets. Field lines due to neighboring magnets. Written. Just a second. Yes, it's a so this is about the compass method. Another method we have is the iron filling method. Write down second. First was the compass method, second is the iron filling. I think I have explained you in the last class something. Iron filling. Yeah. The same practice yes, applied. Write down iron fillings method. Iron fillings method. Iron fillings method. Place a in the bullet form you have to write first bullet. Place a sheet of paper. Place a sheet of paper. On the top of, place a sheet of paper on the top of bar magnet. On the top of bar magnet. And a sprinkle on the top of bar magnet. And a sprinkle iron fillings. And a sprinkle iron fillings. And a sprinkle iron fillings. Evenly evenly on a paper on a paper full stop next bullet tap the paper tap the paper gently tap the paper gently tap the paper gently with a pencil and the with a pencil and the fillings and the fillings 
the filling. Should form, should form patterns and the fillings should form pattern showing the, should form patterns showing the lines of force, showing the lines of force. This method is, uh, oh wait, showing the lines of force. Full stop. Next bullet. Each fillings, each fillings, each fillings turns in, each filling turns in the direction of, each filling turns in the direction of, turns in the direction of the field. Each filling turns in the direction of the field. The direction of the field. When the paper is tabbed. When the paper is tabbed. When the paper is tabbed. Next bullet. The method is quick. The method is Quick. To tell the direction. To tell the direction. To tell the direction. That's it. Now see, you can just draw a bar magnet. Here we don't know. Suppose it is north, it is south. We don't know how the direction is there because it is very quick method as soon as we just tap or just shuffle this iron fillings very quickly it got um, placed in a like a magnetic field lines so we can't identify from where it is going outward where it is coming towards so we can't identify it's very quick method so you can make a dotted thing to show that these are the iron fillings the whole method i have explained to you is, is, uh, is it clear or shall i explain it again I think I got it. Okay. So just very quickly draw this small figure. This dot show the iron fillings. So these are the two methods to plot the lines of force. Done. Okay. Now next topic will be electromagnets. Electromagnets, I think we have discussed earlier also, but how to introduce the strength of electromagnet, this was left. So again, adding electromagnet, we have the uh, just overview of it comes when I was explaining you how to magnetize the magnet or any iron rod. There it comes the electromagnet. Remember? But here, yeah, uh, there is a separate topic of electromagnet and solenoid. Both are very important from the examination point of view. Again, you can mark it as important. One portion definitely will be from either electromagnet or from uh, the topic that is solenoid. That will be definitely there in the paper. So write down electromagnets. 
write down using magnetic material using magnetic material is only using magnetic material is only one way of is only one way of making a magnet one way of making a magnet full stop an alternative method an alternative method is to use an an alternative method is to use an electromagnet is to use an electromagnet underline electromagnet then next bullet a typical electromagnet a typical electromagnet is 